New at 1030, the family of Brandon Miller held a vigil to honor the father of five who was shot and killed in broad daylight earlier this week. Our Courtney King was at the vigil earlier tonight and joins us live. Yeah, Trish and Rob, right now we're live outside of Cincinnati Police's criminal investigation section because they have been investigating Brandon's case. And earlier tonight, his family did hold that vigil, and it was at the same spot that he was shot and killed at on Tuesday. And they tell us that they want justice and they want answers, but tonight was about celebrating Brandon. For my brother, he was well loved. Yes, he was. Known everywhere. Yes, he did. The cleanest. Yes. The realest. The realest. Yellow and green balloons flew through the West End Thursday in honor of Brandon Miller. His family says those were his favorite colors. There was also dancing, celebrating the music he wrote. For us, it's, it's been extremely rough. 42-year-old Brandon was shot and killed Tuesday in broad daylight while in his car here on Finley Street near Central Avenue the same place where his family released the balloons. Cincinnati police say Brandon died at the hospital. This is video from the scene. You can see bullet holes in Brandon's car. The boys are extremely upset and sad about it. Brandon was a father of five. He has an 18 year old daughter. Portia Eaton is the mother of his four boys. She says they are devastated. Four different people to love and care and hug on and four people that's going to grieve in different ways. The boys are 12, 11, 8 and six. My 11 year old haven't said much of nothing, which is scary because he was the closest um, to him. So I'm really concerned about him. But the other two are just continuously crying and saying, why, why, why? Portia says Brandon was a great father who loved to play with his sons. What was uh, your dad like? He was a good person. Yeah. Do you miss your dad? Brandon's family tells us he was running an errand for his mom who has cancer when someone shot him. His loved ones don't understand why this happened. They say Brandon was known to be a jokester who got along with people and he had been taking care of his mom while she underwent treatments. And it's hard on our family, but we go get through this and God got us. The family asks anyone with information to please come forward and call police. And Cincinnati police officers ask that you call Crime Stoppers at 513-352-3040 if you have any information into Brandon's shooting death. We're live from CPD. Courtney King, Fox 19 Now. News tonight as well. A Kenton County man's facing some charges after more than 100.